Every day, workers of Borneo Rhino Alliance collect 50 kilograms of leaves just to feed a majestic animal who calls this place home. It's purely a human thing that if we know there's an issue and we care about it, then we should do something about it. Tabin is home to Tam, the last rhino in Malaysia. He is the last leader of his kind and he is fighting a battle against time to save his species. Tam is the name that's been given to the last male Bornean Sumatran rhino in Malaysia. And he's called Tam because he was captured uh, near Sungai Kratam, which is in eastern Sabah between the Sigama and Kinabatangan rivers. He, he was actually captured in August 2008 because many people in the plantation and nearby that area had, had seen this rhino wandering around in an oil palm plantation and it was quite clear that eventually someone would, would shoot him or trap him. So the decision was made by Sabah Wildlife Department in July 2008 that he should be captured for his own safety. This much on rhinoceros also known as the hairy rhinoceros or Asian two-horned rhinoceros is a rare member of the rhino family. Out of the five rhino species in the world, the Sumatran rhino is the smallest rhino and the one with most hair. Although considered small, it is still a large mammal. It can only be found in the island of Borneo. In 1930s, there was a huge wave of hunting by natives in Borneo wiping much of the Sumatran rhino population. During the time, most natives killed the rhinos to supply the 1,000 year plus trade with China in exchange for China ware supplied to the natives. The widespread hunting and habitat destruction led to the Sumatran rhinos struggling to repopulate. Being extremely elusive and solitary animals, many Sumatran rhinos were separated, making it nearly impossible for these animals to find each other to mate and reproduce. Michael comes from the nearby town of Lahadatu and has been working for Bora since 2008. During the year, Tam was first brought to Tabin. For Marikus, caring for Tam is not simply a job. It's not like caring for a pet in a zoo. He had cared for Tam for nine years. He may not be a rhino, but to Tam, he is the closest to what Tam would consider family. Mariko said that he was very happy working in Bora and he was never bored of taking care of Tam. Along with Tam, there's two female rhinos, and they're named Puntong and Eman. Puntong uh, was captured in 2011 from Tabin Wildlife Reserve, and it turned out she was the last wild rhino in Tabin Wildlife Reserve at that time. We call her Puntong simply because her front left foot was torn off in a jarat trap when she was a tiny baby. Her problem is that even though she's producing eggs, like any mammal, she produces one or two eggs every month. But the problem is that even if she could become pregnant, uh, she cannot bear a pregnancy. The, the condition of the uterus means that she can't hold the embryo and bring it to term to, to become a baby. The other rhino, Iman, uh, was captured in Danam Valley 
in 2014. But as it turned out, she was the last wild rhino in Danan Valley. We just captured her before she died. So both those females, we've had to keep them alive, boost up their condition, manage their reproductive problems, and maintain them in good health so we can continue to get eggs out of them. They can have babies, but it has to be in vitro. In other words, what people call IVF, which means you have to mix a sperm and an egg together in the laboratory and produce an embryo. If an embryo can be produced, which we haven't succeeded so far, it, technically it's possible. I think it, it's a matter of time before the first one is produced. If one or more embryos can be produced successfully, then what the need is for what we call a surrogate mother. In other words, the embryo has to go into another rhino, ideally a Sumatran rhino. If you see Tom, you would first think that he is a rhino who is calm and steady. But in reality, Tom is a depressed rhino who is worried sick for his future. You see, Tom is already 30 years old. He is basically middle age for a Sumatran rhino. And the average life expectancy of a Sumatran rhino is 45 years old. So time is running out for Tom. If he is to have children, he must do it now. Not only children for himself, but also for the future generation of Sumatran riders in Malaysia. We send our children to school to learn about riders and the world. Yet, what are we really doing to protect it for them? Would the world be the same when our kids grow up? What will they teach their children? Do you guys want to see this word? Yeah. 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 In the real life or just in the picture? No, 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 no. In many um, things that human beings do, we always tend to look at the past and what we see around us now. You know, we, we tend to do things that we're accustomed to, whatever they might be. And similarly, that has been the approach in wildlife conservation for many years. We tend to you know, establish protected areas, have zoos, um, do ecological studies. But the reality is, um, if we want to save very endangered species, we need to think much more creatively. So in the case of these rhinos, we need to think of making embryos in the laboratory. My message to people in general is that keep an open mind. If you hear that, you know, we're putting the rhinos under general anesthesia to get their eggs out, don't be horrified. I mean, it, it's, you know, we have, we have good people, the technology is known. And don't be horrified by, some people use the word cloning. One thing is, what do we mean by cloning? What it really means is using eggs and sperm or new technology to produce babies in ways that are not natural. So keep an open mind. I mean, don't, don't just think we're doing horrible things. We're looking after the rhinos nicely and we're thinking of the future. How can we save the species? So we'd really like the support, um, the philosophy, what we're doing. Please support us and understand what we're trying to do. For now, Tom stays strong and believes something good will happen in the future. Tom believes that good things come to those who wait. He knows there are other Sumatran rhinos out there. There will be a day where Tom believes he can live with the other Sumatran rhinos. Then at last they would be together. They would live peacefully and be able to have families of their own. Tom trusts in the goodness of humans. He is grateful for humans who have cared for him and his friends. Even though he knows he can never repay the humans back. We all hope for world peace, but how do we have peace if we continue to exploit this world and its inhabitants? We kill off animals and clear them out of their homes. I guess we're just lucky that they're animals. Maybe Tom will survive, maybe he will not. Tom's future depends on us to make the right decisions. The past is behind us, the future beyond us. We can only deal with the present, so let's make the most of it. Has this been fair? Think about it. <laughs>